All right. All right. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. We're back with a brand new video. Listen, we are back with Basketball Wives Season 10, Episode 16. And uh, why did I say 16? Episode 15. Um, Listen, it looks like things are starting to crank up a little bit. And things are starting to shake up a shake up a bit especially towards the end of the episode so i would just like to say that um first of all while it's on my while it's on my mind with these last two episodes that has happened between this week and last week why is angel brinks not on the show i get that you're booked and busy but uh yeah You know, you don't need to be in the intro when the show started. You're not going to be on the show. You're on the contract. What is going on with that? Um, this situation with Duffy and Iman with this whole settling down situation, right? It's kind of like, okay, because they were asking like, one of the girls were asking like, when are you going to settle down? When are you going to get married? She was like, I'm just trying to get this straight now and get this straight. And I know stuff like that with marriages. You know, you want you want that. You, know, you want things to be right and you want things to be a certain way. So I totally get it. So nobody knows her situation more than her. Um, another thing that I also wanted to talk about was um, let's talk about Brooke. Brooke talked to her dad in this episode. And she also has been, she also has been having like thoughts of like, I don't know if I can continue this marriage with this man. This man cheated on me. Infidelity was definitely um, involved. I don't know if I can do this. And I can understand because shit, if somebody, if they cheat on me, I would feel the same way. I mean, I would. Um, it's kind of like it's, it's nothing to cut you off. It's nothing to cut you off. Um. <laughs> so she went and got the whole like the tat like session one of the, of the tattoo removal right up in here. Uh. Shoot, I would have did the same thing. You know, she. You know, you can tell she kind of wants closure and she wants to just let the past be the past like look you did this bye like you're not gonna do this to me but like i told y'all months ago when i was reviewing the, the the early episodes i felt like she was too i felt like she was older to have a child i i felt like you got two grown children you have children my age and i'm 27 and oh and oh we can't forget about her with her her, um, her children's, um, one of her daughters passed away. Sure did. One of her daughters had passed away. I hate that. And I don't think that with these new episodes, it has gotten to that point yet. So that may, that may fall through with the new episodes. And like I said, I don't know why they cut it out and started back, but yeah. Um, Malaysia... Which is just being Malaysia in this episode. Uh, I'll get to her in a second. But Jennifer telling British about Malaysia. Telling British about Malaysia lost a home in Atlanta. Atlanta, right? It was in Atlanta that Jennifer said. Now, girl, why you say that? That's just messy. You know you saying it on national TV. You saying it all. So when it was all brought out to, to, to Jackie Christie's Ponderosa, it was kind of like, because I was just hoping like none of the girls were going to bring it up. Like I was just hoping like, hell no. Jennifer ass all of a sudden wants to come out and, and say what she said because y'all remember seasons ago, she, she act like she didn't know nothing. I'm just like, Messy as hell. 
because Jackie kept trying to bring it out and Jackie wanted to know what every everybody thought about her and if she stays in people's business girl you know you stay in people's business you just crazy as hell <laughs> like girl please but girl bye like come on uh, me I don't really like mess you know sometimes you sometimes you have to step in and do things sometimes it's not necessary you know um, you can tell Malaysia got a little frustrated when Jennifer brought up that losing that home situation because why why are you even bringing that up like you don't know the situation like are you mad because she went off on you years ago about something that you said like we will really probably never know the true situations of what happened behind the scenes off camera because there's probably more things being talked about that we don't even know about mm mm um, other than that, so I think I pretty much cover everybody else. And Duffy and, Duffy and um, Brandon seems like they have a relationship. I, I found out that they had a relationship for a very long time since they were kids, so I did not know that. Um, we're not on the thing where Malaysia asked Brandy, did she know about uh, Gennaro? Malaysia's ex-husband. So I think they're kind of over that. But something probably happened because that I, I, I thought that was a little weird and off. Um, That's pretty much it that covers this episode. It looks like the next episode is going to be a little bit more juicier because the end of this episode was definitely juicy. It was definitely juicy towards the end. Um... I just want to say I'm so surprised that this franchise is still going. They brought a lot of people that were back seasons ago um, on this show. But yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Let's tune in next Monday night. I'll be doing another review on episode 16. So my bad. I know I said 16, but yes, we are in episode 16. I'm episode 15 of season 10. Um, thank you guys for loving me, supporting me. I will never forget it. And until next time, peace, y'all.